How you doing? Welcome to Beck Flintlocks. Today, we do a little road trip from Pennsylvania all the way to Texas. It's a three-day journey by vehicle, but for our ancestors in the 18th century, it would have been three months through rugged country along the wagon road where you'd have to hunt for your food and gather your supplies and be weary of bandits or raid parties. It's absolutely amazing to think how they made this journey. One man in particular comes to mind, Davy Crockett. He was an outdoorsman, a frontiersman, and a statesman. When Texas was being invaded by Santa Ana's army from Mexico, it's recorded in the House Minutes that Davy Crockett requested aid by the United States to assist the Texans to no avail. To which he responded, to hell with you all, I'm going to Texas. Where he mustered up troops and militiamen and made the journey from DC to the Alamo, which is where I am today, taking in the history and seeing it for myself. It's a beautifully preserved site. It's awesome to walk through the halls of the Texas Shrine and think of the stories these walls could tell and the heroes that were here, from Davy Crockett to Bowie. It's really something beautiful. There's a state-of-the-art museum on site, which has rifles that were recovered from the battle, pistols, swords, powder horns, and other implements used during the war. can spend a considerable amount of time looking at the Mexican flintlocks, the American flintlocks, the military rifles such as the brown bass, and all the other things the museum has to offer. But something that I thought was especially unique was a Pennsylvania long rifle that was made by Jacob Dicker that was recovered from the battle at the Alamo. It features a beautiful brass patch box, a Ketlin trade lock, and a curly maple stock with silver inlays. On the top flat, it's signed by Jacob Dicker. Many believe this gun may have been Davy Crockett's when he fell at the Battle of the Alamo and it was recovered by a soldier and then gifted to a general. But that has been unproven. several recreated bowies and coffin handle knives as well as originals in the display case as well as swords from officers were in the battle I really loved this possible's bag and these hand carved powder horns but the unique thing about the museum was the original muster roll that listed the names of the soldiers who fought and died at the Alamo I hope you enjoyed the video Please like and subscribe. Thank you.